Hey folks, Jerome Forsman here. It is 2.08 p.m. on June 8th, 2023 in Fairview, Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. It is 22 degrees outside on a sunny afternoon in the city. In this video, I walked for 2.1 kilometers starting by the Transit bus stop at West Broadway and Heather. Then I west on West Broadway, south on Oak, east on West 12th, through the Vancouver General Hospital Zone, and then head north on Canby, ending my trek in Mount Pleasant at Broadway City Hall Skytrain Station. If you would like to support the channel, click the heart icon to send me a super thanks. To receive updates, follow me on Instagram at jforcewood. And if you enjoy this video, please smash that like button, share it, and subscribe. Hey folks, Jerome Forsford here. Just doing a narrative video. Over in Fairview right now. Just got off the 99 UBCB line. Oh, hey, no. <laughs> got off of the 99 commercial Broadway bus because it was going in the other direction. <laughs> Coming from the west side into town. Now we're over by West Broadway and Willow Street. Across Willow Street. And the plan for today is to walk over to Oak Street and then head south. Once we hit uh, West 12th Ave, we'll turn and we'll check out the main section of the hospital district where Vancouver General Hospital is located. Haven't been up there quite yet and haven't filmed up there quite yet so we'll get to see it. I did film West 10th Ave where I walked through some of the hospital facilities particularly the cancer foundations that are located on that street um, off of Heather. So. I'm just going to see a little bit more of it because the hospital is one thing that keeps this area alive and vibrant. Of course, there are some things that didn't survive the pandemic, like this pup here. <laughs> but it looks like uh, once this fencing goes up, it usually means that something new is going to be coming along. So hopefully uh, something new and nice comes along. I'm sure that this pub was a uh, pretty good in its heyday, though. Yeah, it looks like they're gonna take down this whole building. There's a development application here. Looks like they're gonna put in a building of two structures and eight new squares. So very, very cool. <laughs> they're gonna go down one more street. So I gotta hit this. And this would be uh, Laurel Street. So this would be uh, the intersection of West Broadway and Laurel. So we'll cross West Broadway and then we'll cross Laurel. Oh, it looks like we can go this way. Nice, so we're just crossing Laurel right now and now we'll continue. I didn't know this was open, this is new to me. <laughs> 
definitely loud here. It's nice to have this side of the street opened up again. A little construction trench to walk through. Oh, and it connects off over here. Okay, that's cool. This used to be a little dead end right over here. So they just opened that up. They are starting to cover up the cut and cover. So this project for the Broadway subway projects moving along really quick. Look at that giant piece of machinery there. Wow. Well, I'm sure these buildings are, uh, these businesses are very happy over here. Because this is another thing that's been shutting down businesses. But uh, the city has done a much better job here in Vancouver than they did for than Toronto did for Little Jamaica and the Eglinton LRT in Toronto. Because a lot of the businesses did survive. And that's really good to see. In Toronto and Little Jamaica, they just set up giant containers right next to businesses and uh, <coughs> just blocked off entire businesses. It was very unfortunate. <coughs> So, we're out of this section now, and we've just turned on Oak Street. So, we'll walk south here along Oak Street. Again, a little bit of new territory for filming. So we'll see how this area is. There's quite a bit of residential in the area, but I can already see signs for Vancouver General. So you can see here, they got gates for Vancouver General in the hospital zone. And this would be the intersection of Oak and West 10. And it's our turn to go. Now in and amongst the hospital, like all major hospitals, there's a whole bunch of different facilities and foundations to help out various people. Like I said, when I went down West 10th Ave, we came across a lot of the cancer foundation. It helps with cancer research and individuals who happen to have cancer. They do a lot of good work. Over here's the Jack Bell Research Center for a Vancouver General Hospital and it has a connection to the University of British Columbia.
And this is uh, <laughs> interesting. Got a little shopper's drug mart down here. And now we're on West 10 or West 12th Ave. And of course, walking past the facility grounds. There's a Starbucks over here. Looks like it just has a little counter here. There you can get a little mobile pickup. Then there's a walk-in for here. Here's the walk-in for Starbucks. <laughs> Something interesting down here. And they got this little gate because there's this place called the Purple Green. Sells salads and salad bowls. <laughs> Very cool. You're not going to go inside or anything, but no harm walking around outside. It's over by the Jim Pattison Pavilion. You look up just a little bit you can see one of the signs for Vancouver General way right up there very cool right two clicks and we're back down let's keep exploring We'll go back out to West 12th Ave. Lots of little gathering places for people to chill out. Which is really helpful for a hospital because if you spend a lot of time in a hospital, you want to be able to take a break outside at the bare minimum. <laughs> so really impressed by the facilities over here at Vancouver General. We'll keep walking here on West 12th. And uh, when we're done through the hospital district, we'll head on over to uh, Broadway City Hall Station. <laughs> they has got a hankering for some uh, Richmond public market food. So I said, yeah, sure, I can do that for you. <laughs> Here's one of the entrances to Vancouver General Hospital. And over there is the main entrance. And here's the walkway to the park way where you can park your car. Very similar to other hospitals in other parts of Canada.
Let's see if there's some stairs here. <laughs> if not, we'll double back. Oh, looks like there's some stairs right here. So I'll just go through. <laughs> Confused the heck out of some drivers. <laughs> there you go. There's some stairs. And we can take the stairs down. Looks like there's a few ways out. So, now that you've watched this, you should know. That's helpful. Okay, looks like we need to go down one more. Yep. There we can head out right here. And back over to the other side of the street. <laughs> That was fun, that was a little adventure. So this would be the intersection of West 12th and Laurel. And it's gonna be our turn soon. Yeah, let's go. Oh, here comes one of those bikes that you can pedal with your hands. There are similar areas like this you can find in other major cities across Canada, including in Toronto, which is my hometown, where you can find uh, Hospital Row, which has several different hospitals on it. Look at that sculpture, so cool. We can wind our way through this campus too, like this is a lot like a university campus. <laughs> Here's a piece of public artwork. Cool. It's called Martha Sturdy. <laughs> or it was a generous gift from Martha Sturdy. <laughs> Don't think you can go much further there, so we'll just backtrack around here. <laughs> Mix it up. Look at this garden, this is awesome. And we're back on West 12.
<laughs> oh, very cool. Here's some more of the hospital for you. Giant open space over here. Very handy. And some of the older facilities. There's a sign for the BC Cancer and uh, Research Center and BC Cancer Vancouver Center. I'm sure they each have their own purpose. And you can see this nice blue banner that says Hospital Zone on the street here. Very cool. This would be the intersection of West Falls and Heather. And that would be looking down Heather in a southerly direction. And it's our turn, so we'll go. Here's one of the clinics for the BC CDC, Center for Disease Control. And you can see from this sign right here. And there is a partnership with uh, BC CDC and uh, UBC, local university. And here's the intersection of West 12th and Ash Street. Looks like the lights are just changing right now, so it should be our turn now. <laughs> Great. Over here is the City Square Shopping Center. I have filmed in this shopping mall a few times now. So if you are one who watches the channel, you can go back in the back catalog to look up some of those videos. But I, I'll cut through it today. I'm just not going to go all the way up to the second floor or anything. Just going to cut through it. There's me. Hey folks. <laughs> so this would be the City Square Mall. Oh, I might have actually walked up to the second floor, so maybe I'll have to go down. <laughs> oh, you learn something every day. I don't think I've gone in that door before. Yeah, we're on the second floor. That's okay. We can head on down here. And two clicks and we're back up. There's the Lennox liquor store there. 
It's one of the private liquor stores in British Columbia and here in Vancouver. And there's Sun Given Foods, one of the local grocery stores here. There's Sun Given Foods all over Vancouver. You can even find one on Kitsilano. Over by, I believe, Blenheim Street. Here's the local food court. Lots of nice, interesting restaurants in here. Including a bubble a waffle cafe, which Bay just happens to be enamored with. <laughs> bubble waffle cafe is pretty good. If you get their laksa and Taiwanese chicken, oh my gosh, that's so good. And not all the bubble tea waffles, but some of them will even give you sliced duck with laksa <laughs> for a pretty good price. So <laughs> it's definitely worth a gander. And then here's Kins Farm Market right here. You can also see a Kins Farm Market over in uh, on Denman Street too by the 7-Eleven. We'll leave Denman and Comox. Across the street and then uh, walk on uh, north to uh, Canby. <laughs> or along Canby. We are along Canby right now. <laughs> We're currently uh, at the intersection of West 12th and Canby. And this would be considered part of the Canby Village, which is one of the business districts here in uh, Vancouver. So let's hit it just to make sure it's recorded for us. And this would be the intersection of Canby and West 12. And it's almost our turn to go. Yep. Here we go. Over here is City Hall. And two clicks and we're back down. There's a look at the City Square Mall for you. From a raised level. <laughs> There's the Canby Street. There's a park here that I haven't filmed through yet. So you're just going to take the main trail through there before we head on over to Broadway City Hall Station. Here's a little more of the City Hall building for you. It's 
so you can see it in all its glory. And two clicks and we're back down. And we'll just duck right around here. And now we're in the park. <laughs> This is a really nice park. Look at those benches. Wow. A lot of them are close to trees. But even the ones that are in the sun right now probably get a little bit better. Get a little shady at different parts of the day. And this would be the City Hall Community Garden. And you can see there's lots of people growing different things in here from wildflowers to vegetables. I think we can even poke ourselves in. There is a sign that says do not pick the plants. <laughs> Looks like you got some leeks growing over here. It's the tomatoes. <laughs> so cool. Lettuce, kale, mint and dill. <laughs> some really big garlic flowers that look like they haven't been attended to in a while. <laughs> it's a fine. So cool. It looks like organized chaos, but these are actually people are going to be eating food off of here soon. So that's that's very very cool. Okay, and we'll keep going. Very cool. <laughs> there you go, get a nice view of the mountains. We're at the intersection of Canby and uh, West 10th. And yeah, it's our turn, so we'll go. Looks like that crow's gonna get a steal. <laughs> it's all yours, man. <laughs> that guy's gonna have dinner for a while, or <laughs> possibly feed an entire family. Probably feed an entire family because crows aren't nesting right now. <laughs> And we're down here now at Broadway City Hall Station. It looks like these guys just set some tar down, so... Just gonna make sure I don't step in that. And this is Broadway City Hall Station, of course, because it's on Broadway Street and right next to City Hall. <laughs> and I'm going to take this guy train down to Richmond. I'll film a, for a few more videos there, but I'm going to take a break from filming on the train today. So if you want to see some train films, <laughs> 
through the tunnel on the Canada line. You can go in my back catalog and find some of those. Anyways, folks, if you'd like to support the channel, just uh, click that heart button with a dollar sign. You can send me a super thanks. I do take Interact donations uh, through my email address. It's available in my profile. folks uh, looks like here comes my bus so <laughs> just uh, thank you for coming along and just remember to share like and subscribe and I'll talk to you later okay have a good day